Hi guys, it's Bethany. I have a post review for you right now. The piece is Paris by Olha Darchuk, and this is a Diamond Art Club diamond painting kit. I started this on January 1st of 2022, and I finished it on February 22nd of 2022. Are you ready to see? There it is. So pretty. Yeah, it sparkles really good. My general impressions of this kit were positive. I personally really like working with blacks and whites and grays. Um, so this was a pure joy. And then when you have the little bits of red thrown in, it just get, it for me it gives me just enough excitement to keep carrying on and this is this is such a cool piece i made a few changes to it which i'll talk about in a little bit but i will say overall this this was a good one for me if you don't if you don't like blacks and whites and grays probably not a good diamond painting for you it is around a round drill diamond painting um, one of the things that I found a little frustrating is with the lighter colors if you don't get the spots exactly on where it's charted you can see a little bit of the little bit of the black outline and so I had to be extra careful while placing these to make sure that I got it right. And then every once in a while, I still see a spot that I'm like, oh, that drill needs to be over a little, <laughs> a little bit more. But, you know, we all try to do our best when we place the dots anyways. But for me, that was one of the things that was on the more frustrating side. The things that I really liked about it, like I said, the colors for me were perfect. Um, this picture, I really like the picture. It's just this drizzly day in Paris, people walking with their umbrellas. You can see the lamps. Um, it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to show you my extra drills that I had because Okay, there's my extra drills. <laughs> you can't really see them. I will, I'll show you my trash. This is my trash. Um, this is not all of my trash, but this is gives you an idea of what my trash looked like. There was a ton of these little itty bitty specks of resin in all of these drills and, and that was really frustrating. That was the thing that I didn't like about this kit the most was I pour these in my tray and then all those little tiny, tiny bits, they'd get in the way. So it was, it was, it was difficult to, to do this piece. Um, mostly had to do single placing because using a multi-placer with all those was nearly impossible. I did use a multi-placer a little bit, but mostly I had to single place, which is fine because like I said, with this kit, you had to be really precise. I did have a pack of 3865 left and there was one that I had to open. I think it was, I think it was this one. There was one I had to open because I needed like three drills out of it. So that pretty much I had two full containers of drills left or two full packets of drills left. And I had more than enough to finish the kit. So that wasn't an issue, but um, that one has extra, that one has extra, they all have extra, some of them less than others but I had, I had extra drills. If you're curious to see more of what I had left, I will try to make a kidding down video. Uh, we'll see. And then if I make that, then you can see what the, what drills I had left. So 
there were a couple of changes I made to the kit. I'm going to have to take you on a journey. Hold on. Okay. So there were a couple of changes I made to this kit. This right here is my favorite one, so I'll save that for last. Oh, there, oh, I made three changes, that right? That's right. I put some sparkly ABs here in the Eiffel Tower and one at the top so that it, it in certain lights it'll shine just a little bit different. And that, that change is hardly noticeable um, but if you are if you're walking by it at the right time of day you definitely notice it another change I made and you can kind of see you can kind of see off center dot <laughs> um, I put some glow-in-the-dark drills here and they are in the shape of hearts they blend in so well that you can hardly see but if I step back a little bit, you can you can you can kind of see where they are, right there and right there. But in the dark, that looks pretty cool. I'll try. I'll see. Let's see if I can insert a picture here. Yeah, I really like that. It's one of those th changes that you don't no notice on the canvas. But in the dark, there's just a couple hearts if you like that sort of thing. So here is my favorite part that I changed. I, I replaced the drills that were in these lamps with crystals. And it really gives it a glass look, which I love. Absolutely love it. I thought that was a good, good replacement idea. Felt a little bumpy right there. Okay, anyways. There it is, guys. Paris. Diamond Art Club. Olha Darchuk. Fun, fun piece to work on. I recommend this if you like blacks and whites. If you like Paris and the rain. Thanks for watching, guys. That's all that I really have to say. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, I'll talk to you next time. Bye, guys.